So I may or may not have already recorded a singular thing, but the audio was so bad that I decided to do the whole thing again. This is just the um, intro kind of thing. Let's try to rebuild what I just had. Mm, that hair, that. Trust me, this took a very long time, so you're being spared. Get some nice glasses going. Green eyes, obviously. This. Oh, and also, my nice little speech is gone. Um, as you may or may not hear, I sound a little bit sick. A little bit being an understatement. I have COVID. Woohoo! So I'm home alone on Christmas. Um, which is absolutely great. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, um. I hope the sound is right now. I'm not gonna do it again if it isn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like a little fish looks. Um, professional. Like a high class. Restaurant kind of thing. Alright, so that's uh, what took me like 20 minutes before it's being done. This I will not say anything to. Uh, I will play the tutorial. Oh, look at this cute little cutscene with my chubby looking face. <laughs> Let's real quick. Um, Not sure if the music is fun to play or not. So. Ah. Great job. <coughs> Mute music. Alright, here we go. Isn't this great without any music? Hey. Just me in my sick voice all right here we go look at you your new uniform fits perfectly it's if it were made for you as for the kitchen and installed all the workstations everything is up and running which means it's time to get back to cooking we only have three days until the grand opening oh and i left you a little gift to help you get back up and running hope you like it thank you look at me being all buff and shit woo um can i run I think I can. So, this is the recipe we'll make. This page shows all the ingredients needed as well as the workstations required to complete the recipe. A recipe is divided into steps. Follow them in the correct order to learn how to cook the dish. <coughs> this is very easy. We just chop and pin this. Do you remember that recipe it was the first one we learned in culinary school? I thought it'd be perfect to open our new kitchen. I stock the shelves with all the ingredients we need so you can get started right away. Um, <coughs> this is not really a hard recipe. So All the recipes you have pinned from the recipe book are shown at the top right of your screen. Start by looking at the list of ingredients and take them from your shelves. This is the first step in a recipe. Sounds like it may would make sense this and then we take the meat I feel like an absolute professional I've only played the first I've only uh, made this one dish you are at a workstation it's time for me to make fun of it again these stations are where you perform all the different steps for your recipes this is a wooden chopping block you can use it to prepare larger and heavier ingredients with the top bar you can choose how to prep for now, you only know one way to prep, prepare this ingredient when you're ready to start cutting. Um, I only made this one dish, and that's when I stopped because the uh, character creation took me so long the first time. <laughs> uh, start making some French fries and some chopped shallot. Man, this game really wants 
um, makes me want Just to speak up if you need help with anything. get into cooking. No, I don't know. It's inspiring. Now, workstations. When you're at a workstation, you can access all the recipes you have unlocked. For now, you can only prepare a cooked steak. Getting ingredients ready. To start cooking, make sure to put all the ingredients you need for the recipe in your inventory. Place ingredients down one by one, or use place all to put them all down at once. Once all the ingredients are ready, you can start. Don't mind if I do. <coughs> We can turn up the heat since I'm right here. While cooking in the range, various actions can be performed depending on the recipe. With heat strength, you can slow down or speed up the cooking so you can adjust it to suit your needs. Use turn on to stop the current cooking. <coughs> be careful, food left too long on a turn off range will be ruined. I can already feel my voice going again. Um, But the good news is once I have some water, I'll be fine again. <laughs> Um, flip the food. You can check the level of doneness on each side of the food here. How to flip. Um, okay. Nice. Almost done. <coughs> Excuse me. Without the music, this is a little bit sad, but I'm not sure if it's safe to play. So, I would rather not risk it. I hope the sound is fine how it is so I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not gonna play it a third time though now we place them <coughs> and then they're being done pretty quick I've made fries in a thing like this before, in like a deep fryer like this, it takes a lot longer, <coughs> let me tell you. Same with cooking steak, I guess. Take. And now we can prepare. Oh god, I need to sneeze. Oh man, life is tough. Start. I guess since there's no customers, I can just eat this myself. I mean, I think I look like a professional chef. No. This is a technical execution grade. It represents how well the dish was executed. Follow each step of a recipe exactly to achieve the best possible grade. For example, flip the meat so that it's cooked on both sides to improve your technical execution grade. Sounds about right. This grade represents the quality of the ingredients used, rated from 1 to 4 stars. Produce quality depends on the supplier it was bought from. Okay. <coughs> My goodness. I'm dying. And then we talked to him. This is where I stopped last time, so this will all be new for me. <laughs> nice! It seems you're already getting the hang of working in a kitchen again. <coughs> but I think the recipe is missing a little something. I added some notes to the recipe book. Take a look. Sounds good. New. Cooking tips. The recipe book has been updated. You updated. You can now find cooking tips. Grading criteria. There are several criteria that affect your grade. 1. Respecting cooking times and adding ingredients at the right cooking phases. 2. Adding the correct spices. Oh god. Performing <coughs> chef actions. E.g. flip the meat. Improving your cooking skills. Follow the cooking tips to get a better technical execution grade. The higher the grade, the better your dishes are. Fair. Um, there we go. Spices. What are these? Salt and pepper. Doesn't say. Uh, makes. Uh, I guess it's just for the meat then that we <coughs> put the spices. God damn. <coughs> Pick up the dirty frying pan. And then we wash it. <sighs> clean. Ooh. That's an easy clean. I wish it was this fast in real life. Place it back on the cooking range. Currently unavailable. Oh, here? Okay. Cut, chopped, 
shallot cut beef steak. Okay. Shallot. Put this here. And then we're gonna start cutting this up. I really enjoy this game. This far at least. <laughs> It's kind of relaxing, but also it feels like you're actually doing something. It's also making me kind of hungry, which is a good thing, because I haven't eaten in days. Don't forget to grab the spices before you start cooking. This will save you from running back and forth. Thanks for the tip. Over there. <coughs> Use spice rack. Black pepper. Oh my god. Do you see? I don't know my spices. Cook a perfect steak with shallots. <laughs> no pressure, am I right? Cooking phases. Cooking on the range is divided into cooking phases. As start, first, second, ingredients and phases. Every ingredient cooks at its own pace. The recipe shows at which phase each ingredient should be added to be cooked perfectly. Starting to cook all ingredients shown at the as start phase are required to start cooking. Add ingredients at the right time. <coughs> The remaining ingredients should be added during the respective cooking phases to achieve a better technical execution grade. You can enable the recipe reminders option in preferences to have these indicators visible while using the range. I want the recipe reminders. Start. Um. What do I do? It's time at the shallots. Okay. And I'm guessing in phase two I put the... Shouldn't I already flip this? <coughs> I'm guessing it will tell me that, right? It's time to add spices. Spice if used so far. Start by adding a pinch of each spice indicated in the recipe. This will guarantee the dish will taste nice. I think I should flip this. I'll flip it first. So I feel right. Um, season. Use. Once the dish has been seasoned, you can use the chef's notes to find the right balance. Follow the directions to season the dish properly. If there's only a little bit of spice missing, add a single dose. Be careful a dose of seasoning adding to a meal can't be removed. Adjust the seasoning until you have the perfect balance. <coughs> Finding the perfect balance takes time, but it will be appreciated by your customers. Okay. Not enough salt. Perfect. Um, now I hope that this is gonna cook through. It's not looking great right now. Prepare what you need and assemble the dish, steak with shells and home and french fries. Okay, I'll get some potatoes. Then I'll cut the potatoes. Cut your potato. Burp, 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 burp. Take and we put them in here. Oh, my bad. Place. <coughs> this should be rather quick, I hope. Because it looks like the meat's getting cold. <coughs> this will involve a lot of multitasking, I'm guessing. Shut up. Not about <sighs> take the French fries and then we assemble it and see how good we did with our steak. <laughs> Definitely not perfect, if you ask me. Okay. Me. 
A plus, look at this. The food you cook should be arranged on the plate in an appetizing way. Is this not an appetizing way? Customize the dish to your liking. You can change the look of your plating from this screen. Should I do that? I'm not sure. This is a plating editor. This is where you can customize the appearance of your dishes. Plating is done in a series of steps. Confirm a step, use next step, and go to the next step. First by starting first start by choosing a plate. You can also place mini dishes which add extra volume to the plating and can hold sauces. Then place the dish components to oh my god, this is <laughs> complicated. Then choose the plate. Oh I like the black plate. Uh it's locked. Are you kidding me? a white plate. They all look the same or are they like deep plates? Can't really tell. I'll use this black plate and then Let's see, what do we use for a steak with shallots and homemade french fries? So we're putting the french fries in there, is that what we're doing? Or is it sauce? Let's put that in the, on the top. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Put that on top. <coughs> Next step. Meat. <laughs> oh, help me. Uh, just put that here. Drop. <laughs> that looks so bad. Help me. Put that in there. That's locked. Okay, pour it. Um. Now we have. What is this? I thought we did French fries. Oh. Okay. I think these look the most appetizing. One. Two. One. Oh god. Cancel? Yes. This is somehow fun, don't ask. How about... No. Here. Yes, yes. Not sure if I like this. Or not. Do this. And then just like singular one on top. <laughs> no. Put one in the sauce. <laughs> no. Okay. We got the meat. Can I put another meat? <gasps> that looks way cooler though. Is it actually locked or is it just that I have? <coughs> I think it's not doable yet. I'll just leave it. I wish I could pour more sauce. Is this I guess I can rearrange it another time. <sighs> oh man. What does that mean? Oh. That looks very shabby. <laughs> that looks weird. <laughs> um, what do I do? Yes. 
like to see. What's that? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Safe plating. You can create multiple plating layouts for the same dish. This is where you can choose. Uh, which one to use for his services. Feel free to take a photo of a dish. Why would I do that? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks very odd, but I'll take it. Nice! Woo! 